we don't know what they're talking about. And until we do, we can't report anything. Oh, we're, we're ready. We've been ready for a couple days for this one. 3-0 sweep. <laughs> Good momentum here. Nice crowd here tonight, folks. Glad you joined us as well. Michael, we don't know what they're talking about. No, not, not at all. But this have gone back, and you see the teams heading back to the locker room. The officials now going over to the scores table. And so it will PA announcer Mario Nani here Best inside the arena. Waiting for league confirmation to start the game. The head coaches. We still don't know what the discussion was about. So as soon as we hear anything, we will relay that information to you. But the both teams have gone back to the locker room. The fans here in the arena don't know what's going on. We don't know what's going on. And so as soon as we get any kind of information, we will certainly pass it along. The game tonight has been postponed. You are all safe. And take your time in leaving the arena tonight and do so in an orderly fashion. Thank you for coming out tonight. College football world, Jeff. They've been waiting for college football. They finally have it. They're going to be focused on San Marcos here in about half an hour. Now, of our, from our perspective, out our window here, it's very sparse in the stands. Although they are, they are, you know, social distancing. But you had the band down at the north end zone. But everybody's what six to eight feet, uh, feet apart from each other. And in here on the home side, you do have a sprinkling of uh, of part of. Of fans coming in and out. It's going to get it's going to get a little bit more. They said what 25% capacity. Take on your Texas State Bobcats to open up the 2020 football season. As Jeff and I talked about in our opening remarks. It's been a bit of a whirlwind ride to get here through the last few months. Whether there would or would not be college football, but there is at least on this Labor Day Saturday in uh, 2020 with SMU in town and Texas State solid maroon top to bottom maroon helmets the maroon jerseys maroon pants the gold embossed super cat logo on the side as Chris Nagar gets set to kick this one away and does so to open to red in three two one open the regular season is winding down in the Sunbelt Conference, and tonight a pair of longtime rivals meet in beautiful St. Marcus, Texas, as a two-time reigning Sunbelt champion Texas State Bobcats host the UTA Mavericks. From outside the arena to end, welcome to Strain Arena on the campus of Texas State. No, I mean it was uh, it was a massive shift for us. You know, I mean our job, all everybody's job, it's not just my job, but the entire department's job is to, um, you know, we're here for athletics. Uh, you know, and sure we support student athletes, we help them get educations, we help them learn. You know, we help them uh, with anything that they need, and you know all that stuff. But you know, our job is to you know put on athletic events, and so when the entire world stops playing sports. Um, that's a huge hiccup in our plan. And you know, we training, you know, we typically would have entire training sessions where we would invite 10 to 15 kids um, and go through training. We don't get to do that anymore. You know, we have to reduce our contact with with the kids as much as possible, with, and the kids with each other. We need to reduce our touch points. Um, me touching a camera and showing them how to work it and then handing it off to them for them to try, and then the next person trying, and then the next person trying. Um, that's just, you know, creating a touch point disaster. So um, we had to shift to training kids on game day. Um, so now we're hiring new kids and um, they're showing up to work and they don't know how to set up a camera, how to zoom, how to focus. They don't know what their job is. They don't know how to work. Um, and so we have to kind of teach them that on the fly. And you know, so that changed the type of student that we were bringing on board. You know, we needed to bring on students who were comfortable being uncomfortable and didn't mind you know, live critiquing and didn't mind getting coached uh, in the moment and in the game. Um, more so than we typically do because so much of these kids, that's their first time 
getting this experience. So, and then, you know, just from a logistical standpoint, um, we've had games canceled, we've had games postponed, we've had um, road trips postponed, we've had teams who were supposed to come here and couldn't come here. Um, fortunately, Texas State outbreak hasn't been so bad that we've had to cancel games because of us, but um, we've certainly had players who couldn't travel. We've had, um, you know, teams that couldn't compete because the opposing team couldn't play, and so, um, you know, and then, you know, all of our procedures and uh, uh, roles are changing on a, on a daily basis. It feels good, obviously, to be back, you know, in front of the camera and have a headset on and um, doing games. One thing I really missed was simply preparing for games, um, doing the research, doing the homework, putting together my cheat sheets, um, talking up with my producer, talking with opposing coaches. Those are things I've gotten to do, you know, since sports have returned, albeit at a very, um, not quite the same as it used to be, but on, on some scale. It's just really fun. Like, it's, it, it, it can get pretty serious in here, you know. They'll like yell at you on the mic or whatever, but at the same time, I feel like we're still a, we're still a family. We still have the group chat, and I feel like we're all pretty close, and we just have fun uh, doing what we love, because we all love sports.